everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Tracy, my channel is called Sojo Jill and Beauty and I upload things like shopping, cleaning, cooking, lifestyle, you name it, it's on this channel. So if any of that interests you, then hit that little subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell as well because that will tell you when I next post a video. Now on to today's video. Now as you can see from the title, I ventured into Poundland and I'm not going to lie guys, I didn't just pick up one bag. No, I didn't pick up two bags, I picked up three bags of stuff and I'm really happy with what I picked up and I've actually picked up stuff for other people as well so I can say that that's okay. Now I was feeling the autumn vibes today, I put my cosy jumper on, I have lit my candles and I've got a nice hot cup of coffee here as well so if you want to watch this video grab the snacks, grab the drinks, light the candles and let's get straight into this Poundland video. <music> This is completely mix and match in these bags so I'm just going to pull out whatever is in the bag first and show you what I got. So the first thing I pulled out of the bag is this here and it's just a little chalkboard and I've actually bought this for the grandchildren because my grandchildren come round and sometimes they stay over and I like to just have a little toy box for them and Every time I see something in there, I just grab it and chuck it in the toy box. Six chalks with it, you get the sponge with it as well, and it was only a pound. I think they're going to absolutely love this, and I just think that it's not going to make much mess. You can wipe it away, and yeah, I just think they're going to get enjoyment out of it. And for a pound, you just can't go wrong. So next thing I picked up was also for the grandchildren, and it is just this memory game here. Now, you get 14 cards in this, and the reason I picked this up is because I remember playing this when I was younger, and it was one of my favourite games. So I just thought, why not pick it up for them? It was only a pound, and it just looks like this. Just get 14 cards in the pack, and you literally, if I remember rightly, you literally lay the cards out face down and then you turn one card over you turn the other card over and the aim of the game is just to remember where those cards were and then match them together so yeah i just thought this is really educational for the kids it's good to help their memory and yeah it was a pound so i picked this up also to put in my little toy box a little bit boring but i picked up some card for them also because they absolutely love coloring love drawing and love asking me to draw as well so why not just stuck up with the card and the paper and again it was a pound this is the a4 white card and it is a 30 pack so that will do them for a little while again for the children i might actually put some of this stuff away for christmas because i actually picked up quite a lot of stuff for the kids it's so affordable in there so if you are looking for some christmas bits then venture into that pound now so i picked up this little car which also turns into a robot and I just thought Finley would love this. It's part of the Road Warriors, if that means anything to anyone. And it just looks like this. So you get this car here and then it turns into this robot. Also on the back it shows that they've got loads of different colours. Just thought this is this is just keeping busy. It was a pound. And like I said, I might put some of this stuff away for Christmas because they're not going to need all this now. And because I picked that up for Finley, I needed to get some for Gabby. And she absolutely loves dolls and i saw this little doll and i just thought she was so adorable so adorable and the pink hair not gonna lie the pink hair did it for me so pink hair and a little purple dress and it says best friends forever and i just thought this is really really cute she can put it in her bag or she can just carry it around with her so and a pound you just can't go wrong so the next thing I picked up was actually for my son. It is his birthday next week and I absolutely love just getting gift bags and just putting loads of little bits into the gift bag for him. Obviously getting a main present, but I just feel like it's really nice to just get a gift bag full of little bits that you can use. And so I saw these two deodorants. So I'll probably pick up some like smellies and stuff like that for him. And these were a pound each. And I'm not going to lie, it was the smell that did it for me. I sprayed these in the shop and they smell so good. This one is called Stay, Stay Cool Body Spray and it is in the fragrance Samba. And then I picked him up this one, which is Stay Cool Body Spray again. And it is in the fragrance Rock. 
So if you watch my last Poundland and B&M haul, you're, you would have noticed that I picked up some pictures and some frames and I put them in my living room downstairs and they look absolutely stunning. Now, when I walked into Poundland this time, I found these. These are massive. These are A, are they A3? Yeah, so these are A3 posters. You can see this one is a pineapple. I also picked up this rose one which is which is absolutely beautiful i love this one it's probably one of my favorite also i picked up this one which i think would go really nice maybe on this wall or above this mirror and it just says but first makeup and that is literally me i get up in the morning go and have my coffee and go and do my makeup so that's me to a t i also found the matching frames so for six pounds, I got three pictures and the frames. So I was really, really happy with those. So the next thing I picked up was actually for Gabriella, and I think I'm gonna leave this for Christmas. Now, every time she comes around my house, she is so into doing my hair, putting my makeup on, maybe trying to do nails. And I saw this and I thought, this is just Gabriella to a T. And it is this little doll here. It is just a styling doll. And like I said, she's into doing hair makeup. Really, really nice for her. Five pound it cost. And it comes with a little brush, some little hair accessories. And I just think she's gonna get hours of play out of this and she might leave my hair alone for a little while. But for five pounds, you know, one more Christmas present to put away. Good stuff. So just recently I've been organising my kitchen, I've bought some baskets for the cupboard, I've bought some jars just to put some little bits in, just to get it all nice and organised. And I saw these in Poundland and I just couldn't resist, I had to pick them up and they are these trays. These are going to come in so handy because when you put these in your fridge and you've got everything organised in there, you just need to slide it out get out whatever you need and it's not rolling about in your fridge like it normally does in my fridge it's these plastic covering and they're just gonna be really really easy to clean as well and yeah i just thought for organization these are brilliant i actually picked up two of these one for each shelf do you want to get hold of the um slimmer ones so i can put like ketchup or maybe jars or bottle or something like that in it um, I've seen them in B&M but they've completely sold out in my B&M at the minute so if you know anywhere I can get those then please comment down below and let a girl know because I want to do some organisation also if you want to see a video on organisation also leave a comment down below and I can do that for you as well also picked up some pencils go with the card that I got so they can do some colouring so basically you get 12 colouring pencils but you get four packs of 12 colouring pencils so I thought that was really really good and I've got a pencil case downstairs that I can fill up and next time they come around they've got loads of colouring stuff to do now. My grandchildren when they come around they obsessed with having a bath and to be fair I don't have that many bath toys so when I went into Poundland I picked up a whole load of bath toys for them so next time they come around and stay they're going to have some fun in my bath, I can tell you. I've got these colouring crayons for them. I've actually had these before and they love these. You can draw on the side of the bath. You can draw on your hands and your body. And they just literally come off of the water. Um, so, yeah. So, there's six in a pack. There's green, purple, red, yellow, orange and blue. And I've actually picked up two of these. They don't last very long, I'm not going to lie. Um, kids can be quite heavy handed sometimes so yeah so I picked up two packs of these to be on the safe side they're only a pound each. so I'm not going to lie I said I went crazy with the bath stuff and I am not kidding you I went crazy with the bath stuff the first thing I picked up is this little Nemo how cute is he he's just a little wind up toy and he just literally swims along the bath and I just think the kids are going to absolutely love this one. And I liked him so much that I picked up the crocodile as well. And again, you just wind him up and he again just swims. And I think his little feet move. Yeah. So his little feet move at the bottom. So yeah, I just thought these really, really cute. Give them something to do in the bath. They can even have like a little race or something like that in the bath with them. And they were a pound each. Next, I saw these, and normally when you buy these little things, they come in like a boat shape or something like this, but these came in a shark shape, and I just thought, with Baby Shark and all that going around at the minute, the kids are going to absolutely love these. But again, it's just a little bath toy. You get a pack of 
four and again they were a pound so i saw this little guy and again i thought he was so so adorable i think he is meant to be a lobster or a crab or something like that yeah bath time fun cup so you get a pack of seven and on the first one it's got like a little spinner so i suppose when you put the water in there it's going to spin around and again just another little bath toy and again this was a pound so i know a lot of people have rubber ducks but i like to be different sometimes and i saw these and i just thought they were so cute they are just this little squishy bath toys that you fill up with water and you just play with them they've got like a little hole in the mouth and you can squirt each other with them you've got a fish you've got a little crocodile in there i can show you little crocodile what's this one? Oh, that is a whale and then you've got a frog and again, I just think these are so cute for the kids to play with. There is lots and lots of stuff for them to play with. I am not joking you. I bought so much stuff. So I thought having all those toys, I need somewhere that I can store them away. And I saw this and I just thought this is a brilliant idea. Basically, you've got two little suction heads, which are in the shape of frogs, which is again, so cute. And it comes with a net. Basically, these suction onto your wall or your tiles and the little net hooks on over each frog and you can just put your toys away. Obviously, it's a net, so all the water would drain out from it. Um, yeah, and this was a pound, so this is going to keep all my little bath toys in it. So also for the bath for the children, I saw these flannels and I just thought these are so, so nice. They feel so, so soft, so they're going to be absolutely fine on their skin. This one is for Gabriella and it is just basically Disney princesses, which she absolutely loves. And this one is for Finley and it is the Marvel Adventures. I think you've got Hulk on there and you've got this Iron Man as well. So yeah, for a pound each, they've got a little face cloth each. They absolutely love washing their face in the sink. They mess about with water a lot and I just thought these would be great. On the bath line, I saw this. I always use these like body scrubber things and they normally come on like a little rope thing. But I just thought this was such a good idea. If you can't reach those places on your back, it's a really, really good idea. And it was only a pound. Not much to say about it really. Quite excited to use it. Not gonna lie. So I'm doing up my downstairs toilet at the minute and I ventured into B&M recently as well, which is another video coming very very soon so keep an eye out for that one and i picked up this hand towel basically a pound hand towel it is 50 centimeters by 80 centimeters and it's actually really really soft for a pound i was quite surprised it is really really soft and i just thought this is going to go really really nice my toilet downstairs my toilet is actually grey, so having a few white accessories will look really nice it has some little detail on it here um, but just a simple white towel, just a, just as a hand towel for downstairs. Two for a pound, I picked up these biscuits. I picked up Maryland cookies. These are the, ooh, these are white chocolate brownies. I'm not gonna light up these in the microwave, melting them down and have them with a little bit of ice cream. I'm sorry, that is a really nice video. I'm such a sweet tooth, I cannot help myself. Also picked up these Foxy's Viennese, is that what they're called? Viennese biscuits, milk chocolate Viennese biscuits. I am one of these people that can't have a cup of tea without a biscuit. I just can't do it. I have tried so many times, but I just can't restrain myself. I think the best thing to do is not buy biscuits and then I might not do it. But yeah, two for a pound. Bargain. Always good to have a few biscuits in the house. I saw these and I thought these would be so handy to have in the cupboard. I've actually got quite a few plates in my cupboard, but it doesn't hurt to get a few more, does it? And I saw these and I just thought they were so, so cute. This one's got a little Peppa Pig on a little unicorn, which Gabby is going to absolutely love because she is obsessed with unicorns. And this one has got George and a shark. So I suppose we can pretend that's baby sharks. They are obsessed with baby sharks. Also picked up the matching cutlery, which is a spoon and a fork, and they just look like this. So they've got George on the top and just some little starfish at the bottom. And even though these are plastic, they're actually really, really sturdy. So they're just a good alternative for kids. Also for little Christmas presents that I'm gonna put away, I picked up this little game of Who Is It? Which is basically a little guess who game. 
Um, again, this was only a pound. It's quite an educational game because you have to be really observant and I just think it's a really good game for them. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this one away for Christmas. Also for a Christmas present, a pound each, I picked up these little puzzles and they've got 45 pieces in. It says three plus, but I've looked at the pieces and as long as you help them if they're younger than three plus, then I think they'll be fine. So I picked up this little rocket one, which I think Finley will be obsessed over. And the girls can play with this one also, which is a really pretty llama with some glasses on and a little headband. So yeah, I think they're gonna love those. So when I watch some people's YouTube videos, I notice they've got some really, really lovely cups. I just wanted to get into those vibes, really. So when I went into Poundland, I saw this cup and I just thought this is me in a cup, basically. It says it's always tea time and my house drinks so much tea and coffee and obviously all the biscuits. It's pink and it's white and it's got the rose gold writing on it and it's also just a really comfortable cup to hold some cups can be really hard to hold but this just feels so comfortable so you're probably going to see this in my next video not gonna lie i'm probably gonna have a nice hot cup of tea or coffee in there next up like i said it's my son's birthday next week and i've just got a gift bag and i'm just gonna put a load of stuff in it and i saw these and i thought there was a great idea he absolutely loves sweets he yeah, still has a sweet tooth at 22. The ones that he buys are the strawberry pencils. So if you have a look, these are just like filled stick cola. So he, I know he loves these in the strawberry flavour and he absolutely loves cake. So I thought this was a good idea. And you actually get quite a few in there. For a pound, stick these in his little gift bag. I know he's going to like it. So I saw this Tangle teaser in there and I don't have one of these. So I just wanted to try this out. Sometimes when I wash Gabby's hair, it gets a bit tangled. And I thought this might be a good idea. I mean, it's only a pound, so I'm not expecting miracles from it. But I'll try it out and I'll let you know in the description box how I got on with it. Um, I might actually try it out on my own hair first because I don't want to be hurting her hair if this isn't any good. But for a pound, I'll try it out anyway. And if it is good, then a Tangle Teaser is actually quite expensive. So pick this one up as an alternative. If it works, I'll let you guys know. Walking past the makeup aisle in Poundland, I saw this. I've actually seen this on other people's hauls and they had quite a few of them. Um, in different kind of brushes, but I could only find the powder brush. And I want to start collecting these, so if anyone knows where I can get any more of these, then let me know in the comments down below, because, yeah, I need to change up my brushes. And I have heard these are actually quite good. Also, in the makeup aisle, I saw this, which is called a glow-up lip kit. So you get a lip liner and a lip gloss, but I just... It's not getting the ring light in. I just really like these colours. I mean, on camera, it's coming up quite orange, but they're actually quite a nudie brown, which is literally the colour I wear on an everyday basis. So I just thought that was really good. So I'm going to try these out. Again, they were a pound. So I'm going to try these out, let you know again in the comments how I get on with them. I've actually had a Poundland lip liner before, and I'm not going to lie, I loved it. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that my first videos that I ever put up were all about nails. I actually still do nails and I'm going to be starting a channel, a separate channel, all about nails and what I do with them. I'll leave a little description down below so if you ever want to follow that channel, you can. So basically when I went into Poundland, I saw these little tiny toe dividers and they are in the shape of strawberries. I just thought they were so, so cute. Let me open them up. So basically, this is a toe divider, but it is in the shape of a strawberry. I thought that was so, so cute, but I've never actually seen toe dividers like this. Three medium sized ones, and then you get a big one. And I just thought they were so, so cute. So I'm gonna try these out, let you know how I get on with them. Obviously when I do nails, I'm gonna need things like this. I actually didn't have any toe dividers and every time I did toe nails, I was using like World Up Cotton Wool. But these were just a really, really good idea. So that is everything that I picked up in Poundland. I spent about 30 pounds in there and I think I actually got quite a few bits in there. For 30 pounds, I did quite well. Now, if you liked any part of this video, guys, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed already, hit that little button down below. 
So I've got quite a few videos that I've got coming up. Like I said, I've got a B&M haul that's coming up. Maybe some decorating, maybe some cleaning. If you have any ideas on videos that you want me to do, then please leave a comment down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you all. Bye. Mwah.